For number six, we want to determine whether each pair of events is independent or dependent events. I have the definitions here. Independent events are events where one event happening does not affect the probability of another event happening. Dependent events are when one event happens that affects the probability of another event happening. So let's look at the four situations here. The first is you roll a six on a die and you draw a six from a deck of cards. Rolling a six on a die has no effect on the probability that you draw a six from a deck of cards. So because one event happening does not affect the probability of the other event, that makes the first situation independent. Next, you draw a king from a deck of cards, replace it, then draw a seven card. Well, since we replaced it and we put the first card back in the deck, the fact that we drew a king on the first draw is not going to affect the probability that we draw a seven on the next draw because all of the cards are there. So that makes this also independent. For the third situation, you draw a face card from a deck, then without replacing it, you draw a five card. So this time we're gonna draw one of the cards from the deck. We're gonna set that card aside and not put it back. And then we're gonna draw another card. So because we're not replacing it, the probability of the first event is affecting the probability of the second event. Because since we put the card out, on the next draw, there won't be all 52 cards anymore. There'll only be 51 cards. So since we're not replacing it, that makes it dependent. Anytime you draw objects without replacing them, that's gonna be an example of a dependent event. If you replace them, like the second one there, then the first event doesn't affect the next event, so that's gonna be independent. So when drawing objects, if you replace the objects, it's independent. If you don't replace the objects and you're setting them aside, then it's a dependent event. All right, the final situation is you flip a quarter and it lands on heads, and then you flip the same quarter again. The fact that it landed on heads the first time isn't going to affect whether it's a heads or a tails on the second time. The first flip has nothing to do with the second flip. So that makes these independent events.